How's it going everybody? No Nofrendo here and in today's video let's take a look at Ease 9 Monstrum Nox on the Nintendo Switch. We're just going to be taking a look at the handheld gameplay and the handheld performance of this game. But before we get started into this video guys and you guys are new here and you guys love the E series, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell turned on that way you can get notified when I post another video. So Ease 9 on the Nintendo Switch has already been out for like a month now. It's August of 2021 and it came out in July of 2021. So it's been out for just some, maybe just a little under a month and I finally got into the channel and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like in handheld mode if you guys, you know, prefer playing your Nintendo Switch in handheld mode. I know I do. I love playing my Nintendo Switch on the go and I was really curious to see how this game would run. Now I saw, you know, quite a bit, uh, quite a few reviews when this game was released, um, you know, back in July and NIS was talking about how they were going to release a day one patch for the Nintendo Switch version. And I got to say, right out the gate, I really like the combat in this game. It's really fun. It feels more just put together than Ease 8 did, you know, for me anyway. It just feels like that hit detection is really there. You really pack a punch with your swings of your sword and things like that. And I really like that about this game. And also with the story, the story is more dark and more ominous compared to Ease 8, at least in my opinion. And I really like that. It's got like this gothic look to it and it's really, really cool. Love the color palette, you know, and things like that of your characters and, you know, just the overall environments. They look really cool. Now let's talk about the performance because that's why you guys are here. Now the performance is where this game definitely lags. Now, as far as frame rate goes, Frame rate, you're looking at about 20 to 25 frames per second when you're in the open areas, like in the in the big city area. Your, your frame rate's really going to drop, and you might hit 30. You know, when you're in the close quarters and things like that, it's okay. It's an okay port as far as that goes. Now, as you can see on screen, we're not going to get those high-res textures like you do, like in a, obviously, like the PlayStation 5 or even on the PlayStation 4. So if you're looking for a better performance... The Switch is definitely not the port for you. I would definitely play it. If you own a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, I would definitely play it there. But it's an okay port. So if you only own a Nintendo Switch and you like the E series, you will have some fun with it. Because like I said, the combat and the story are absolutely fantastic. But it's kind of a bummer that the frame rate drops so low. Now, we're, we're, you know, the Nintendo Switch is a lower powered console compared to your PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So it's, it's understandable, you know, Ease 8 kind of ran the same way. But if you can look past that and you enjoy the Ease series, like I said, you guys will enjoy it. It's a really fun game and I love the way that they took the series. So anyways, guys, let me know down in the comments below if you do enjoy the Ease series and you have it on the Nintendo Switch. And if you're having fun with it, I'd love to hear from you or you're thinking about picking it up because if you are thinking about picking it up, and you're just not sure, make sure to go to the eShop and download the demo uh, because... You know, you get quite a bit of experience within this demo, so you it give you a good idea if you're, it's worth um, paying sixty dollars for. But enjoy the rest of the footage, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. This place has become the cursed land, the Grimwald Knox. It is a realm where the line between the worlds of human and monster becomes obscured. For you. It is the front line of battle. Come forth, my monstrums, and consume this dark night. White Cat, reporting in. Hawk, present. This had better not be another waste of time. Doll here, good day. Raging Bull, I'm raring to go. Renegade. Let's get on with it already. Monstrums, meet the Crimson King. Now there are six of you. We have a new recruit. I guess we needed the extra help. <laughs> My condolences, pal. <laughs> That's a funny name you've got there, Crimson King. Raging Bull is also peculiar. Like you, they are monstrums. They use their gifts to exercise the monsters that infest this realm. If you fail to do so, you will be trapped here forever. And if you should die in this realm, 
Your souls will wander it for the rest of eternity. That is the curse which all of you monstrums must bear. You'll obey me here on, or you'll regret it. There she goes again, sounding just as unreasonable as ever. That demented bitch. One day I'm gonna kill her. I don't like it any more than you guys, but this is the only way we can get back to our own lives. The clock is ticking. Now then, shall we begin? Monstrums, the time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked and the defiant shall be punished. Ascend into this unbreaking night. Unsheathe your curse and smite the darkness.